Hello students, let us start the new portions of the animal kingdom that is the classification of the vertebrae and it is the last part of the animal kingdom. Okay, move on to the slides. In the first slides you can see that the subphylum vertebrata is a name is the classification of vertebrata. In the previous videos I have we have discussed about the classification of animals and in that we study about the vertebrata. Yeah, the subphylum vertebrata is further divided into two divisions that is agnatha and nathostomata. Subphylum vertebrata is divided into two divisions that is agnatha and nathostomata. Agnatha that means the without jaws, the animals without jaws are called agnatha that is a class cyclostomata and nathostomata that is with jaws that is having the jaws and it is divided into two super classes that is Pisces and tetrapoda. This nathostomata is further divided into two superclasses, Pisces and tetrapoda. And Pisces, that is, bear the fins, that is, fins are present. And tetrapoda, they have the limbs, limbs are present. And Pisces, they are again divided into two classes, chondrichthyes and osteichthyes, that is, Pisces. They are further divided into two classes, chondrichthyes and osteichthyes. Tetrapoda, those that consist of the limbs, are divided into four classes. They are amphibia, reptilia, aes and mammals. So, these are about the classification. That is, subphylum vertebrata is divided into two divisions, that is, agnatha and nathostomata. Agnatha, that is, animals without jaws and it has divided into another coming under this is a class cyclostomata. Nathostomata they are with the jaws they have divided into two super classes that is Pisces and tetrapoda. Pisces they have the fins and the tetrapoda that has the limbs and the Pisces is again divided into two classes chondrichthyes and osteichthyes. And tetrapoda that is having the limbs is divided into four classes amphibia, reptilia, aves and mammals. And let us move study in move on to the details of each of these classes and superclasses. Okay. First one is a cyclostomata. And here cyclostomata, cyclo that means a circular mouth fishes. They have the circular mouth. And they are characterized by the circular and sucking mouth without jaws. They are the agnatha, right? Agnatha means they don't have the jaws. Jaws are absent. That is, they are characterized by the circular and sucking mouth without the jaws. And they are the ectoparasite on fishes. Ectoparasite, ecto means outside. Endo means inside. So, ectoparasite means they live on to parasite means the organisms that lives on feed on the other organisms that are called a parasite and here ectoparasite means they live on the outside outside the body that is called ectoparasites and 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits are there they contain 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits and scales and fins are absent in this case here in this animals or the, in this uh, fishes they are, means uh, they they have the they don't have the scales and fins cartilaginous vertebral column and cranium is present they have the cartilaginous vertebral column and the cranium and they have the closed type of circulation and the marine but to migrate to the freshwater for spawning where they die and larvae after metamorphosis 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 come back to the ocean Okay, that is cyclostomata, they are the circular mouth fishes characterized by the circular and sucking mouth without the jaws and they are ectoparasites on the fishes and they have, they contain 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits and the scales and fins are absent in this organisms, cartilaginous vertebral column and cranium present and they have the closed type of circulation, marine but they migrate to the fresh water for spawning where they die. And the larva after metamorphosis come back to the ocean. Example, petromycin that is lamprey and myxin that is a hackfish. These are examples of the cyclostomata that is circular mouth fishes. Next is the chondrichthyes. 
chondrectae there is a natostomata there is a chondrectae there is a cartilaginous fissures the cartilaginous endoskeleton the mouth is on the ventral side gills is without operculum operculum is opening there are the class 2 chondrectae there are the cartilaginous fissures cartilaginous fissures that is how the have the cartilaginous endoskeleton and the mouth is on the ventral side and gills is without operculum notochord is present throughout the life and placoid scales are present on the skin which make it tough they have the placoid scales which is actually present on the skin which make it tough and it swims constantly to avoid sinking as air bladders are absent they don't have the proper air bladder so it swims constantly to avoid the sinking two chambered heart and poikilothermus they have the they are the cold blooded animal cold blooded animal called sort of poikilothermus and they have the two chambered heart separate sexes internal fertilization and many are viviparous that is contractors are cartilaginous fissures cartilaginous endoskeleton and the mouth is on the ventral side gills is without the operculum and here next is the the claspers are present in the male pelvic fins okay here you can see that claspers are present on the male pelvic fins electric organs are present in the torpedo and trigon has a poison sting this is electric organs are present in the torpedo and trigon has a poison sting example scoliodon that is a dogfish then trigon that is a stingray then pristis that is a swarfish and uh, carcarodon carker, that is a great white shark these are coming under the cartilaginous species that is a chondrectase that is claspers are present on the male's pelvic, pelvic organ and the electric organs are present in the torpedo then trigon has a poison sting examples are the dogfish stingray sawfish and white shark and next is the osteichthyes that is the bony fishes they have the streamlined body and bony endoskeleton okay they the previous one that is having the cartilaginous endoskeleton here it is having the bony endoskeleton they have the streamlined body and four pair of gills with operculum that is an opening and they have the four pairs of gills skin is covered by the cycloid scale there in the uh, previous case it is having the placoid scales and here that makes it a tough here it is having the cycloid scales and two chambered heart both having the two chambered heart and air bladder for buoyancy in the previous one they don't have the shark they don't have the uh, air bladder so they keep on swimming okay with the in, in order to prevent them from sinking because they don't have the bladders here they have the air bladders that help us the helping for the buoyancy that means they float on the surface of the water and both of them having the two chambered heart they both are poikilothermus that is a cold blooded animal sexes are separated oviparous and external fertilization with direct development they have the external fertilization with direct development sexes are separate oviparous an example marine hippocampus the seahorse and the flying fish exocetus these are the examples of the osteichthyes that is a streamlined body bony endoskeleton four pairs of gills with the operculum skin is covered by the cycloid scales and two chambered heart and having the air bladder for the buoyancy they are the poikilothermus sexes are separate oviparous giving birth that is oviparous viviparous egg lay oviparous and external fertilization with direct development example the marine hippocampus of the seahorse then exocetus that is a flying fish and here the another example is the freshwater forms that is a labio that is a rohu then clarius that is a magur and the cutla then aquarium that is a fighter fish or the beta and the petrophyllum that is a angel fish these are the examples of the osteothex that is a when a seahorse is there flying fish is there among along with that you can see that rohu magar katla then aquarium aquarium we can we also keep this 
in the aquarium that is a uh, beta that is a fighting fish fighter fish and the petrophyllum that is a angel fish next is a amphibia amphibia amphi means dual and bios means is a life that is called amphibians amphibians can live in aquatic as well as the terrestrial habitat amphibians are the animals that live both on the land as well as the water and they go into the water for some kind of their life stage life stages and they come to the land that is called amphibians and have two pair of limbs they have the two pair of limbs body is divided into head trunk and the tail may be present in some species body is divided into head and trunk and tail may be present in some species and skin of amphibians are smooth and moist with many gland scales absent and they have the uh, many glands is present and the skin is actually very smooth and moist and the scales are absent in the case of amphibia and the eyelids present on the eyes which are movable you can see that eyelids are there on the eyes which are movable and a tympanum present which represents the ear there is a presence of a tympanum that represents the ear and elementary canal urinary and reproductive tract opens into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior that is you can see that when frog is jumping or from frog is moving from one place it is actually urinate pass the urinate right that is elementary canal urinary and reproductive tract opens into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior respiration through the gills lungs and the skin the tadpole larvae respire by the gills that is they actually uh, amphibians that can live in the land and the water animal land they need the lung gills outside the lungs and the skin so respiration through the gills lungs and the skin and for the tadpole the larvae of the frog that re respire by the gills and they have three chambered heart two auricles and one ventricles if, uh, till now we learned about the two chambered heart here this is a amphibians they are the three chambered heart that is they are having two auricles and one ventricles endoskeleton is large and bony they have the endoskeleton is a, they are large and bony 10 pairs of cranial nerves present in the brain in the brain they have the 10 pairs of the cranial nerves metamorphosis is present which include the tadpole stage metamorphosis is present which include the tadpole stage and they are the cold blooded animal that is they are poikilotherms and sexes are separate fertilization is external and they are oviparous and have indirect development oviparous means egg laying example buffo that's a toad rana is a frog hyla that's a tree frog then salamander is that the salamander limbless salamander and the limbed salamander that is they are the cold blooded animal they are the sexes are separate fertilization is external they are oviparous and have indirect development they have the three chambered heart they have gills lungs and skin their skin is a smooth moist and do not have the scales they have two pair of limbs then body is divided into head and the trunk and some have the tails in their some stages of their life and they have the metamorphosis that included the larval stage and this one has the movable eyelids present and a tympanum that represent the ears these are about the Uh, features and they are the cold blooded animal these are the features of the amphibians example toad rana the frog hyla the tree frog and salamander salamander that is a salamandra and next is a reptilia reptilia or the reptiles most terrestrial or aquatic they can be seen on the land as well as the water crept that means creeping they show the creeping movement reptiles they have the crept movement that's a creeping movement is there that is why they named the reptile that is show the creeping movement and body is covered by the dry cornifers cornified the skin with the scales and or scutes they have the cornif cornified the skin they have the corn shaped little hard hard cornified dry skin with scales and or the scutes tympanum present the ear that is tympanum present that represents the ear and the limbs are absent or two pairs of limbs are there 
heart is two, three chambered except the crocodile they have the four chambered heart one of the exceptional case is the reptile they have the three chambered heart amphibians also they have the three chambered heart here the reptile three chambered heart is there but exception is the crocodile they have the four chambered heart and they are the poikilothems they are the cold blooded animal that is a terrestrial as well as the aquatic forms they have the creeping movement crept that's a creeping movement is seen in these organisms or in these animals and the body is covered with a thick hard dry cornified skin with the scales or the scutes tympanum that represent the ears and the limbs are sometimes absent or two pairs are there and heart is three chambered in the exceptional case is the four chambered heart in the case of crocodile and the, they are the poikilothems and they have the 12 pair of cranial nerves present cranial there is a 12 pair of the cranial nerve present in the reptiles and sexes are separate and fertilization is internal they have the internal type of fertilization and the sexes are separate and they are oviparous and the development is direct they are oviparous egg the egg laying animals and development is direct not the oviparous uh, sorry they are the oviparous and the development is direct eggs are large with much yolk in leathery or limey shells they have the eggs that are very large with much yolk the yolk is actually in abundant in leathery or limey shells and there is no metamorphosis metamorphosis stage is not present in the reptile they have the 12 pairs of cranial nerves present sexes are separate and fertilization is internal they are oviparous and development is direct eggs are large with much yolk in leathery or limey shells and there is no metamorphosis snakes and lizard shed their skins as skin cast they actually uh, on the when they growing as they grow older and older they actually shed their skins or the scales as a skin cast example kilon that is a turtle and testudo is a tortoise chameleon that is a tree lizard and the uh, calotus a garden lizard then crocodile is a crocodile alligator alligator is alligator hemidactyle is the wall lizard and poisonous snakes like in naja the cobra bangaras is a crate and viper these are the examples of the reptilia the snakes and lizard that shed their skin or the scales as a skin cast examples are the turtle testudo tortoise chameleon tree lizard garden lizard crocodile alligator wall lizard and cobra crate and viper next is a aves or the birds they have the streamlined body present to reduce the resistance during the flight they actually make they have the streamlined body the body shape is actually the streamlined body because of this they can fly easily or cut through the airs and can fly faster that is present to reduce the resistance during the flight and body is covered with the feathers there are different types of feathers giving warmth to the body protection to the body as well as helping for the flying and most of them can fly except the flightless birds like a penguin emu ostrich kiwi cassowary rhea etc and the fore limbs are modified into wings covered with the feathers and the hind limbs have scales and are modified for walking swimming or clasping and they possess beak dry skin with oily glands at the base of the tail that is they have the streamlined body which helps to uh, reduce the resistance during the flight and body is covered with the feathers there are various types of feathers are there and um, most of them can fly except some of them are exception cases some of the flightless bird that is they have the wings but they cannot fly examples the penguin ostrich kiwi cassowary rhea and the emu and the fore limbs are modified into wings covered with the feathers and the hind limbs have scales and are modified for walking swimming as well as the clasping and they possess the beak and that they have the dry skin with only oil glands at the base of the tail they have the bony exoskeleton that is a fully ossified that is a means fully uh, air hollow 
it's actually hollow empty that is the long bones are pneumatic that means a hollow or porous with a air cavities that is to reduce the body weight of the organ animals that is they need to fly so high right so in order to uh, help them to uh, help them for flying they have to reduce the body weight if they have the body weight where body weight is heavy they can't fly so to reduce their body weight their bones are actually hollow or porous with the air cavity and the crops and gizzard present in the digestive tract in the digestive tract they have the crops and the gizzard and the respiratory organ is the lungs and the air sacs connected to the lungs supplement the respiration there is an air sac that is connected to the lungs that supplement the respiration 12 pair of cranial nerves present and they have a large eyes and a strong sense of flight they have a very big eyes and they have a strong sense of flight and they have the four chambered heart they are homothermous that is warm blooded animals and they are able to maintain a constant body temperature okay that is they are the bony exoskeleton is present and their bones are actually pneumatic that means ossified as well as the hollow or the porous that is filled with air cavity that is reduces the body weight then cops and gizzards are present in the digestive tract and the uh, respiratory organ is the lungs and air sac that connected to the lungs that helps to supplement the respiration they have the 12 pair of cranial nerves present and they have a very large eye and has a strong sense of the light and their heart is four chambered and they are homeothermous that is a warm blooded animals and they are able to maintain a constant body temperature and next is a, they are the sexes are separate and fertilization is internal they actually the sexes are separate there is a male and females are separate and their fertilization is internal and they are oviparous that is egg laying and development is direct they have they are the oviparous animals and their development is a direct example corvus that is a crow columba is a pigeon citacula that is a parrot then strutio strutio that is a ostrich then pavo peacock then aptendodites aptendodites means penguin then neophron that is a vultures that's it sexes are separate and fertilization is internal they are the oviparous and the development is a direct and examples are the crow, pigeon, parrot, ostrich, there is a pavo, there is a peacock, aptendor as a penguin and neophron that is a vulture. And next is the mammals or mammalia. The habitat, they are usually they are deserts, mountains, forests, grassland, polar ice caps, dark caves but few can fly or live in water. That is not all the mammals are living on the land or a terrestrial some are living the some are living in the water and some are able to fly also includes the diverse groups of animals from tiny mice to huge whales that is a mammals mammals means that they help that are possible to feed their animals give birth to the animals they are called mammals and, and feed their young ones why that are called they have the mammary glands that is why they are called as a mammals that is highly developed animal with much advanced brain and they have the two pair of limbs for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, swimming or flying. Unique characteristic is the presence of the mammary gland to feed young ones so called mammals. Sense of sight, hearing and smell are well developed that is mammalia the class mammal their habitat is the mountain forest grassland desert dark caves polar ice caps some can fly and some lives in the water and they are actually a very diverse group of animals that is from the very tiny mice to the huge whales and they have animals with a highly developed or much advanced brain they have a two pair of limbs that is usually used for walking running climbing burrowing swimming or flying and the important characteristic or the unique characteristic that is the presence of the mammary gland that it helps to feed the young ones so called the mammals and they have a good sight of sense of sight hearing and smell and the skin possesses hairs as well as the external ears or pinnae present and different types of teeth are present for cutting tearing and grinding and they have the four chambered heart mammals skull is unique brain is more complex 12 pair of cranial nerves present and they are homeothermous 
form blood anemia and the respiratory organs are lungs sexes are separate and fertilization is internal that is the mammals that possess the skin hairs on the skin external ears of the pinna present different types of teeth are present that is usually uh, responsible or meant for the cutting tearing or grinding four chambered heart and the skull is unique and the brain is more complex 12 pair of cranial nerves they are the warm blooded animal respiratory organ is the lungs sexes are separate and fertilization is the internal they are viviparous with a few exception viviparous means giving birth that is exception that is a platypus they are the oviparous exceptional case for the mammals that is a we are usually most of them are viviparous that is give birth to young ones what exception is the platypus that is an oviparous and the development is direct example oviparous that is a platypus viviparous kangaroo flying fox camel monkey rat dog cat elephant lion horse dolphin blue whale then tiger lion flying foxes see this one and these are the examples and here is a chart that shows the difference of the tetrapoda that is a class amphibia reptilia apes mammalia that is amphibia they are aquatic as well as a terrestrial two pair of limbs are there skin is smooth and the moist scales are absent and the respiration by the gill skin or the lungs three chambered heart poikilothermus of the cold blooded they are oviparous that is a egg laying sexes are separate external fertilization with the indirect development frog toad salamander ichthyopus that is a limbless salamander and next is a reptilia class reptilia that is a mostly terrestrial or aquatic limbs are absent or two pairs dry cornified skin with the scales or scutes the respiratory organs are lungs the three chambered heart and poikilothermus exception the crocodile that is a four chambered heart they are the oviparous as a egg laying sexes are separate internal fertilization with the direct development crocodile alligator turtle tortoise chameleon naja viper etc and the aves their body is covered with a feathers for flying and fore limb modified into wings and the hind limb modified for walking swimming clasping dry skin with the only oily glands on the base of the tail they are the pneumatic bones respiratory organs the lungs four chambered heart they are the warm blooded animal or homeothermus they are egg laying or the oviparous sexes are separate internal development fertilization internal fertilization and the direct development birds crow pigeon parrot etc ostrich as a flightless bird penguin kiwi uh, um, emu cassowary etc next is a mammalia class mammalia that is a mostly terrestrial but some can fly that is a flying fox is there and can live in the water that is a dolphin and the two pair of limbs are there and the skin is hairy mammary glands present respiratory organs and lungs four chambered heart they are the warm blooded or homeothermus viviparous that is a uh vivi viviparous that is a giving giving birth to young ones and the platypus that is an oviparous that is an egg laying sexes are separate and fertilization with the direct development kangaroo rat lion elephant deer then cat blue whale dolphin flying fox etc these are about the classification or the subphylum vertebrata okay and go through the video and if there is any comments please let me know thank you